How is this still in one piece? So a few months ago I made these flexible 3D printed RC car parts. And while they were super durable, they weren't perfect just yet. These old ones were very flexible, which in theory is great for durability, but it can hurt the handling characteristics a little bit, especially on brushless power where you're going super fast. And also, one of them did end up splitting right here after a lot of use and abuse. So, I got back to work. As you can see here, I 3D designed new arms, which now have extended ends where the layers separated, and the other end all filled up with extra material. The filament I'm using is this super tough 95A Shore Hardness TPU by Saint Smart, and here are my Prusa slicer settings. 0.2mm layer height with 100% infill and 8 parameters, with speeds of 20 to 25mm a second. The material used is still the exact same, so they're still pretty flexible, but due to the structure, they're a little bit stiffer now and hopefully even more durable. Alright, that's enough info for now, let's mount these on and go test them out! Alright, that looks pretty good to me. Here you can see really well the extended end now. Uh, it's split apart here in between the layer lines, which is a common failure point for any 3D printed part. But here I've just extended it, so there's a lot more material. So yeah, these should hopefully be a lot more durable now. Let's go test it out now. Okay, let's see here. Uh, the arms still look perfect, amazing. And for now I can only say, even on brushless 2S, with these new arms, it handles just the same as with the normal arms. Let's put in 3S now and chop on some different tires, because these would balloon way too much on 3S. This car goes around 100 kilometers an hour or 60 miles an hour on 3S, so that is a lot of speed and that will definitely test out my arms here. All right, let's go. Oh my God, that is just crazy. Oh my god, I had the brakes turned down to 55%. I am such an idiot. What am I doing? It's okay though, good test for our arms. 
all fine. I also got this bumper, of course, which I might feature in another video, one like that. Jeez, did you see that jump? Am I recording? Yes, I am. Oh, I think it broke, actually. Oh, no. Would you look at that? So I broke in the rear now. Well, that sucks. Oh, this is the part I had glued in previously. All right, so what happened there was uh, this brace here that holds the rear suspension up is usually connected back here. But I once had a really hard crash with this car and it got ripped out of its screw holes. After that, I just glued it back in with some CA super glue, after which it seemed to hold up fine for a long time. But uh, I guess it got loose over time again, and now it finally came out. And that's why the car broke this badly from such a loose impact. There isn't actually anything broken that wasn't already. Anyways, let's continue with our arms now. As you can see here, the arms are in excellent shape and didn't really take any damage during this. Now, uh, I didn't crash it too hard in this video just because I don't want to ruin the whole car. What I've thought I will do is I will put it through some durability tests outside of the car to see if these are really unbreakable. Let's do it. Okay, so now for the durability testing. Here I have an original arm. As you can see, it's very stiff, making it shatter under stress. Now this is one of my 3D print arms. It has a certain amount of flex to it, making it absorb impacts, then just go back to its original shape. To test this, I'm gonna put both of them in this vise, and then hit them with a big ol' hammer. Let's go! Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take each of the arms, put them in here the same way, and then I'm gonna give him a couple of light hits first, and if they survive that, a couple of hard hits. Let's try this out. Let's see if this thing holds up. Okay. So the light hits are fine. Now let's try a hard one. That's actually a lot more durable than the last WL Toys arms I tested. Um, as you can see right here, it uh, sort of bent a little bit. So I guess they must have changed something with the plastic composition here. Because last time what happened is it just completely shattered at like the first or second light hit. Okay, first hit, nothing. Second hit, completely shattered. God damn. <laughs> That didn't even take much force. I think that the arms we tested last time came from this newer car than this one. So that would mean that the plastic composition got worse over time. Which, that's not very good. Alright, anyways, you could see it uh, eventually broke the arm and yeah. Let's try the 3D printed arm here. Let's see. I'm gonna put it in the exact same way. There we go. Clamp it down. And then we'll try hitting it. Couple light taps first. Absolutely nothing. Just flexes back all the time. And now a couple hard ones. So, pretty much nothing happened apart from a couple of scratches. So now I'm just gonna hit it as hard as I can. Let's see if it holds up. Let's go.
How is this still in one piece? It's literally still not broken. Yeah, I think it's pretty safe to say that these are pretty much impossible to break. I mean, there is a very slight bend in here if you look at it closely. But I just bent that back. And, oh look, look. There's a small little cut where it rests on the iron here. And also a little bit of stress marks here. But that's like nothing. I mean, we hit this one way or I just hit this one way harder than this one. And this one got completely destroyed and bent and all. And this one, perfectly fine. All right, so I've just put the arm, I just hammered the crap out of back on the car and fixed it all up. And it seems to work absolutely perfectly. I think it's pretty safe to say that you have a really hard time breaking these. And now if that's not a good enough reason to subscribe, then I don't know what is. The car even handles the exact same as with the brittle stock arms, even on brushless 3S power with speeds of up to around 100 km an hour. Now if you want to see how these compare to my original 3D print parts, I could recommend watching the older video on those. As for my plans on, for one of the next videos, I might feature an unbreakable wing mount for this car next, because as you can see here, the original one broke off. Alright guys, that'll be it for this video. Thank you for watching till the end, and if you want to see more of this, consider leaving a like and subscribing. Have a great day and I'll see you next time.